This should be a bomb fest. Yuri Ali comes in and he always comes in in great shape. オーナー、百八十八センチ、九十二点七零キロ。ジェイク、ケア。赤コーナー、百九十三センチ、九十二点一零キロ。The final fight of the evening, Frank Ryzen Fighting Federation 13 will be coming to an end. The first time in Japanese MMA history where a bout or a an event has been switched around. Main event, co-main event, moved around, swing bouts left and right. As Saki Kibara san said off the top of the show, sometimes you just can't mess with Mother Nature. Once again, the big boys in the rising ring. This one is typical Japanese MMA rules. Elbows are allowed in this one. First round, 10 minutes. Second round, 5 minutes, if required. JQ now has Prohaska against the cage, or excuse me, against the, the corner of the ring. Left knee there by Jake. Really short time under pressure, taking his time. Really not looking at him. trying to get out of the corner. He's kind of comfortable sitting in there. He's not messing around. You got to move your horse. For the Husky fans wondering why he shaved the beard, he said it's all about having a fresh start. Oh, wow. After the fight, before the fight, he wanted to shave it. But he's doing it. That's like a week's growth already. <laughs> I think he shaved yesterday. <laughs> Don't feel the process between both of these guys. Nice, Jake. Nice. there by Jake Hewan. Now you see Ross pulls in the distance. Jake saw that through uppercut right away. Prosca, for always moving his motion, really hasn't thrown that many strikes yet. Yep. Wonder if he's just looking for the counter, the right counter. He does have a very high pace, but it does take him a little while to warm up and get moving. Yeah. There we go. Lunging right hands and start him off. Now we start seeing a lot more. Jake's doing a good job of keeping him off balance. Go, go, go He's having a difficult time trying to figure out Jake's timing. Jake calm, cool, methodical. Nice oh, left wow. hook landed there. Rasa came with a lazy uppercut. Yeah. Trying to get a reaction, a reaction the guy didn't like. Oh, oh, nice spinning fist, and Prohaska waves it off, but yeah. you know that hurt, Frank. Yeah, for sure it landed. And this is usually what Prohaska needs, someone to hit him, and then he'll pick up the pace. Oh, both guys lined up a knee, it was Hugh, and they actually threw it. Action picking up here between these heavyweights, and a jumping knee there by Prohaska. He went stepped out, stepped side, stepped it. Well, Prohaska's right in his kitchen, right closing the distance, big time. Jake is staying more disciplined. Yeah. Nice knee thrown there. 
Oh, a nice uh -oh. shot landed there by Prohaska. Yep. Another one. Now he's going in for that finish. Uh -oh. A nice spinning kick there. Now he's on the ground as JQ and does Prohaska follow him? Yes, yep. he does. With the side control, look for him to try and end it here. He's got a hold of his hand on these, so. 3.45 gone in the second. He's opening round. Up kick attempt there by JQ, and now he's trying to go for an ankle pick. Back to his feet. Still fighting back, showing his resolve. Oh. Oh, with a beautiful right hand. Wow. Drops him. Going in there for the finish. Referee's right there taking a look. He would grab the leg on a knee, lands there. Look for a soccer kick there. Oh, Prohaska just missed that one. Jake's got to cover up. There he goes. He's covering up, but Prohaska's going to keep putting the pressure on. Oh, oh another geez. right, left, right, left, right. Landed That's again. That's it. it. It's over. The referee has had enough. No more damage required. Yuri Prohaska once again pulls wow. out a spectacular victory here in the Rising Ring. Is Mirko Prokop next? That's a good question. Uh, I love, would like to see him against Mirko before Mirko walks away, but we don't know what they're going to do with Mirko come New Year's Eve. I mean, I'm assuming that Mirko is going to want to fight New Year's Eve. Well, lots of different things going on in Mirko Kulkov's career. Who does he want? He once said he wanted Fedor. A Fedor fight's probably not going to happen. Then he said, you know what? If I can't fight Fedor, I want to fight one of the young bucks. Yeah. in the sport to say goodbye and I think we are looking at him right now in the end calls into Mirko Kulkop's lap it's his decision to determine whom he would like to fight next Just a spectacular finish there, Frank. And really, just Jake had really tight boxing to begin with, and as it got later and later in the round, his hands started falling, getting more and more wide open, so it became a lot more difficult for him to get anything done. I think a good job by the referee as well yeah. to say, you know what, he's had enough. He saw he had too much going on. He definitely saw it happen. He wasn't going to be coming back from that. But we see both gentlemen respectful of one another. It's the same thing with Prohaska fights, though, Frank. He has to get hit for him to switch gears. And I know many of mixed martial artists that fight the same way. Oh, yeah, for sure. They said they're doing the Parade of Stars. All yeah. the photos are getting in the ring. We're going old school here. All the fighters being asked to come inside the ring. <laughs> 